They say never judge a book by its cover. Here in Winnipeg is Steve's Bistro. Off Portage Avenue in a strip mall. But Steve's Bistro is a sleeper. Steve's Bistro has been a successful restaurant for more than a decade. But four years ago, Steve decided to shake things up with a new look and a new taste. Greek fusion. Hello, I'm Jody. Nice, nice to meet you, Jody. So tell me a little bit about your restaurant. You do it in the Mediterranean. Mediterranean fusion, fusion, a little bit more to the Greek side. And of course, we do steaks as well. So uh, what are you going to show me how to cook today? How about the mussels? Sure. OK, Steve, so what are the steps in making the mussels here? We're going to cut a tomato, cut the onions, and then we'll okay. be ready to go. This is a serious knife. Is this one of the fusion dishes? Yeah, or it's, all the, it's all Mediterranean food. You come from Crete, right? The island of Crete. The next step is uh, frying pan. So put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of butter. And here are the mussels. Put oh, the mussels on next. That? Yeah, just put them in there. Put a little bit of water in there. About that much of garlic in there. This makes it look like you actually know what you're doing. Here's your tomatoes. Same thing with onions. And just stir it around or? Yeah. OK, them. and this is a tomato paste. Stir. <laughs> All right. How about a little bit of white wine? That's good. The man likes his booze, apparently. A little bit of pepper. Do I look as awkward as I feel? Hey, I've never cooked mussels before. I don't know what I'm doing here. Here's the cream. Oh. I'll tell you when, probably about two ounces. That is good. That's good measuring. Here we don't is. measure. We're Greeks. I don't know. My mom never measured. How's my movement? Yeah. Do a little more? Oh, okay. that's it. OK, we're going to take the mussels out, put them in the plate. Can you give that a little squeeze of lemon in there? This is going to yeah, go on. right on top. Kind of start from the top and kind of spread it a little bit. OK, start in the middle and go around a little bit. And then you have your piece of garlic bread. And we also got some fresh parsley if you like to spread around just for looks. Hey, ready to go. There you go. Oh, man. Try some of the bread in there now. Mm, that's beautiful. That sauce is fantastic. Thank you very much. Are you going to make yeah. this at home? I'll definitely try. <laughs> but, you know, I'd rather if you come here and pay for it. <laughs> Not bad. So what do you think of the food? It's delicious. The atmosphere is great. It's warm and tasty, and the Greek salad is, is very nice as well. I'm having the Greek salad with uh, calamari. It's delicious. So, see, we're, we're going to do the rack of lamb chunks. Where do we want to start? Let's prep the roast uh, lemon potatoes. Squeeze half a lemon there. That's good enough. Empty the juice in the tray there. And put a little, some olive oil and a yeah. little bit of water, salt, pepper, and some oregano. And then put them in the oven. Boom. Step two. Let's trim some of the fat out of the lamb over here. OK. And we're going to flip it over. There's cracks in here. We'll find those, and we cut them. This is how you make a chop. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil on them. And when you put salt, pepper, and oregano on them. Good. On the broiler. Right on the grill. OK. We'll put the potatoes on first. That's OK. Fine. And we're going to need the vegetables off. right here. And now we'll put the chops on. We're going to try and make them look good. Ah. You know the nice thing about this? You eat them like a lollipop. You just pick oh, yeah. them up and you can just eat them. Here we go. Greek lamb chops. Steve's Bistro. All right. Greek lamb chops. Try this out. Oh, man. That tastes incredible. Because it was grilled so quickly, the little spice mix that we put on there didn't have time to like break down or any kind of thing. They don't mask it with a bunch of overpowering sauces. And the meat is done perfectly. Roast potatoes. Oh, wow. Absolutely perfect. You can still taste the lemon. The lemon comes through right away. It is very good. OK, so we're going to do the caramel pork tenderloin. So how do we start this off? First, we're going to salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika on it. OK, and then roll it in the other. Yeah. Get it all over the whole piece of meat. And I need you to put a little bit of uh, olive oil and butter in here. OK. OK, we need the pork. OK, I'm going to need you to stir a little bit of wine in here now. All right. How do you not get mixed up? That is oil. This is wine. It's wine. <laughs> OK. It's wine. Oh, yeah, hey, a little bit of flame. And then a little bit of skirt of oil in here. Now I need to put a couple of spoonfuls of sugar in there. Meanwhile, I'm putting this okay. in the oven. Now we wait. We do our vegetables. It'll be about 10 minutes. So we're going to do the vegetables now? Uh, yeah. We just throw them right on the grill there. OK. Right here? Throw a little bit of oil on them, a salt, pepper, and a little bit of oregano. Look at me, Mom. I'm cooking. Now we just go on top of them and just uh, I'll show you a little bit. And just Make them up a bit. He's a bit more skilled. Yeah, you can uh, go ahead. <laughs> do it. Good job. Okay, Losing you can just let him sit there for a while. Let's cover him a little bit. So he's let those cook down a little bit? That's it. So we're going to cut this now. We yeah. are going to cut this into medallions. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is good. 
Okay, so we are going to plate this now. First, we'll put the potato on. And uh, when we, I want you to put the vegetables right here. And we always like to leave a wide rim around. Push them in a little bit. Leave a little wide around the corners there. Okay. This looks fantastic, guys. Okay, now we're going to move our pork tenderloin on it. Creamy as that place. And here we go back in here. Turn this back on. Just to heat the caramel. Ready? Okay, go ahead. Well, we can even use the fork. Let me just put It's fresh oregano. So I'm going to put this. Caramel glazed pork tenderloin? Yes. Boy, Steve's Bistro is doing it up well. This is the caramelized pork tenderloin. It looks fantastic. It should be. You made it. Well, you... With your help. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is beautiful. The wine brings the flavor, doesn't it? We'll try some veggies here. Cook perfectly, right? Al dente. Nobody wants grandma's mushy veggies. Is this a dish that people order here a lot? A lot. It's yeah. very popular. So you're happy? Mm. Mm. Very happy, yeah. The caramelized pork tenderloin at Steve's Bistro, it is fantastic. And the pork is very, very tender. There's sugar and it's sweet, but not too sweet. Pork medallions with the Greek salad. It's delicious. Good food, good service. Yeah, I've never been disappointed with the meal here. Thank you very much, Steve. Yes. Steve's Bistro. Nuclear fusion is bad. But Greek fusion is awesome. I like good food. So, Beer Brothers, beer... Beer right. Yeah, just give me a second. Sure. Well, beer Brothers, beer made food... <laughs> Sorry. So, Beer Brothers, beer based food be boost. Sorry. I like food. <laughs> no, I just... just Beer battered. Oh, no, beer no, beer brine. Beer brine. Yeah. Close. <laughs> Although, I, you know, now that you've said that, I'm, I'm thinking big brine, beer brine uh, brisket battered. battered. That would be, yeah, maybe we should try that. a lot of bees. Hey, I'm standing here. What the hell? Okay. And actually, when he makes that... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>